many founders often ask me how much money they should raise, right? And what is the amount of their funding route should be? Should it be to cover the runway for three months, for six months, for 12 months? And there is no hard and fast rule to determine that, except that you should try to raise money to allow you to reach the next milestone. And what that milestone is will differ company to company. And that's what I want to discuss a little bit more in this video. My name is Victoria Yampolsky, and I run the Startup Station. So the first round you usually raise is the friends and family round. This is before you have a product, you may just have an idea. And uh, it's too early to go to professional investors if you don't have a prior track record because they haven't yet seen any evidence of your ability to execute. And that's why the people who would invest in you would be the people who already have a personal relationship with you, who believe in your ability to execute and believe in you and believe in your idea. And so that's why the first round is the friends and family round. This round is the most expensive round and it's done at the lowest valuation. And that's why the amount of money you should raise at this round should be the minimum required in order for you to get to the next point where you can raise money at a higher valuation and from professional investors who know how to evaluate risk properly. So what should you want to cover? Ideally, you want to create a version, a minimum viable version of your product. It can be a prototype if you have a product company, it can be an MVP if you have a software company, right? But something tangible that you can show and see, well, this is how I think it's going to look. If you can also get some indication of demand to validate product market fit, you're gonna be in a much stronger position to raise the next round of financing than if you don't. Because inability to um, produce a product market fit is the reason why so many startups fail, um, even with a product that is good, right? Because who needs a product that is good that nobody buys, right? So investors need to see that there is demand. The next round is to develop the product fully okay and then maybe to launch it or it could be that the round after that is to launch then the round after that is to scale but at any point the amount of time that you're raising the money for is determined by what you're trying to achieve not by the uh some fixed amount right so it's not that you always have to only raise $50,000 in a friends and family round and $500,000 in a seed round. No, you have to raise what you need. And for every um, project, for every startup, that amount will be different. To learn more how to determine your funding needs, please take our case study class where I explain how to calculate it. It's class number four. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.